everyone. I'm Pratika from RGS Ninja. So today's video is going to help you with a couple of questions and uh, we'll find out answers for them. So first is ILP as a score validity. Now, many students have been asking us that how long is it going to last for and uh, what is the validity of ILP as a score? So what, there are some facts you should know. Now, ILTS test is a system for evaluating a candidate's English proficiency level. Candidates who want to go for higher education in foreign countries or aim for global migration have to appear on this test and get a good band score. Now, the British Council and ITP organized the language proficiency test. The test is conducted in 140 countries and has more than 1,200 test centers. Students who want to go abroad for higher studies have to prepare for the academic exam. General training is for those who, those who are willing to shift to a foreign country for professional reasons. IRT's exam pattern. Candidates preparing for IRT's exam, no matter if academic or journey, have to go through four sectional tests, which is, uh, which is going to be listening, writing, reading, and speaking. Candidates have to prepare for all these four sections as well as overall band score score or band score will be counted on the basis of average marks of each section. All the sections are conducted on the same day and at the duration of two hours, 45 minutes. The speaking test, uh, speaking part might be conducted on the same day or can also help before or after the test date. Now, time dis distribution in ILTS would be uh, as already uh, said uh, in, the, in the video previously, this test has four sections and the total time duration is going to be two hours and 45 minutes. Now let's see how much time a candidate can get in each section. Listening section, out of the two hours, 45 minutes, 30 minutes is going to be allotted for listening section. The section of the exam has four parts consisting of 40 total questions. These sections are used by the examiner to check the ability of the candidate to understand ideas and information. Next is writing section. Candidates get one hour time to complete the writing part, which includes two parts. Here the candidate has to write about his or her personal opinion on the given topic. Reading section. For this section also, candidates get 60 minutes of time. In this section, the candidate's reading skills get tested. Now, speaking section. This is a face-to-face -face interaction round while the examiner, uh, with the examiner, while the examiner is going to be asking you a couple of questions about you, your life, and uh, section two is a cue card. Right. So, candidates' English communication skills are checked here. Now, how long is IELTS is this for valid? After the candidate goes through the exam procedure, they are provided with a result for the online method. The results out. Uh, the, the results are out within five to seven working days, but for offline methods, it takes around 13 weeks from the date of exam to release. ILTS test score validity is of two years, counting from the date of receiving it for all the candidates. The ILTS validity period is going to be the same. Okay. ILTS certificate validity. Now, the ILTS certificate validity expiration date can be calculated once the candidate uh, gets his or her results. The certificate will be considered expired once the date crosses the validity period, which is for two years. Now, candidates can appear for the examination as many times as they want in a year and can use the most recent result for an extended validity period. Now, next question uh, students frequently ask is that uh, is ILTS validity extend extended to three years? This question is being asked by many students uh, as there is a rumor going on regarding the extension of ILTS score validity. The validity period is still is still of two years, right? There is no change in it. As there is no update regarding the extension on the official website of ILTS. So this is uh, still same. Now ILTS validity for Canada. IRCC or Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada considers two years as the ILTS validity period from the result uh, issuing date. Now, candidates have to sit for exam once again after their ILTS certificate exceeds the expiry date. All right. No matter which ILTS exam you're preparing for, the uh, the criteria or uh, criteria or uh, the the information or details will be helpful for both the academic and general training candidates. 
aspirants can keep their eye on trusted IIT's online coaching portal for any updated news regarding the extension of eligibility. Now here, in case if you have any question or query, you simply need to write or mention or your question there in comment section. Our team is going to reach out to you shortly. So thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, and press the bell icon so you get notification of all our uh, latest videos. And we'll soon come up with our video, which is going to really help you with your activities. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.